Hello and welcome back to the Stationary Dev. Today we have another pen review and this one's going to be a good one. This is a classic uh, sort of pen. It's a staple amongst fountain pens and fountain pen users today and um, it is the Lamy Safari, just the basic Lamy Safari. Um, a lot of people uh, get the Safari as their first ever fountain pen. For me, I think it was probably either my second or third fountain pen. Actually, I had a couple others before this one, um, but it, it was still early, uh, an early one for me. Um, so to get right into it, the packaging, the Safaris usually come in a little cardboard uh, sleeve, which is pretty stylish, um, but there's not much in it. it. Just comes in the cardboard sleeve and does come with a cartridge already in the barrel there. Um, the converter is not included with the Lamy, which is a little bit of a shame, um, but that's what it is. You get the pin and a cartridge. Uh, the cartridges are proprietary and the converters are as well, so just keep that in mind as well uh, when you're buying the pen in terms of what you're going to use to ink this thing. As far as the pen, it is a lightweight, um, all plastic, you know, plasticky, lightweight uh, pen. Um, just regular plastic. It doesn't feel special that much in any way. Uh, the, it does have an ink window, as you can see. It's one of the sort of defining features of it is that ink window, which is nice on a pen of this price range, like an entry-level pen to have an ink window. That's a good handy feature. Of course, you have the Lamy signature clip there, the signature sort of U-clip, which is, um, you know, fairly firm. It does work well. It has, you know, this little lip that easily slides over, um, you know, a shirt pocket or pants pocket or whatever you're using. Um, although it can wear out and just loosen a bit over time, I also have an All-Star, Lamy All-Star, and it has the same clip, but it's just a lot looser now. Um, it has a lot more sort of play in it, uh, but this one is nice and firm. I haven't used this one as much as my All-Star. You have flat ends on both sides. Uh, one end is just flat there and says Germany, and then the other side has these sort of signature safari uh, end cap there of that little plus sign. Um, in terms of the other defining features, it's flat on t two sides there, um, but it does it is round on the other two sides. And then of course you have the Lamy imprint there. So that way you know it's a Lamy pin. So it's kind of hard once you, you know you once you know what a safari looks like, you know what any you can recognize it easily. It's it's got a lot of defining characteristics and it's definitely a unique looking pen. Uh, mine, as you can see, is sort of this uh, pastel green color, which is a limited edition color that they uh, did a couple years ago. Uh, I got this one particularly just because I love mint chocolate chip ice cream and so this one kind of looks like the, the mint ice cream uh, color. Uh, this one is one of the smooth, sort of smooth, glossy finishes, but they also have a lot of models that are the matte, um, sort of more rugged, maybe a little bit more grippy uh, finishes as well. So that's an option there. It is a snap cap, and uh, it does snap pretty firmly, so it does take a little bit of pressure there. Um, post in terms of posting the pen it does post post pretty deep and pretty firm and you can write with it you know posted I would say um, but in my opinion it does I'm not a poster anyway but in my opinion the the Lamy Safari posting it sort of makes it a pretty long pen and then also it kind of back weights it just because it's already like the barrel itself and, and this part is a very lightweight pen so you know posting it kind of back weights it for me in my opinion um it does have a distinctive and very defined indented grip as you can see molded grip uh, so it has two indentations for your fingers there uh, nice lips that you're not going to get over um, and it's triangular so the bottom is rounded and if we look on it head on, you can see how it's kind of triangular in form, similar to something like a, a Twisby uh, or a Twisby Eco T. It's got that same sort of feel to it. Uh, so the downside, if it's not ideal, if you don't have a traditional fountain pen grip, 
But if you do have a, a conventional grip, it is very comfortable, at least for me, it's a, it's a very comfortable grip. Uh, you know, I could write with this for a long time. I don't feel it, you know, slipping out of my hand or coming out of my hand. It feels very secure uh, in the hand. As far as the nib goes, you do have a stainless steel Lamy nib. It says Lamy on it. And it's F, it's a very triangular, sort of flat looking uh, nib, and it is their folded nib design. So you can see it's folded on the edges there, and that's so, uh, and because it's easily swappable. So all the like basic, you know, Lamy steel nibs, you can literally just slide this nib off and then put a new one on. So uh, that's kind of a plus side. It's good for testing a bunch of different nib sizes. You know, if this is your first pin, uh, you can get this this pin and then also, um, you know, three other nibs if you just want the steel nibs because they're relatively inexpensive. Get a couple nibs and then just swap them, you know, throughout and find what your what your favorite nib size is. It's also good for things like ink testing and stuff like that. If you want to test an ink with a bunch of different nib sizes, maybe with a fine and with a medium and then like a stub or something you can do that and just do it super quickly super easily by just slipping that nib off and putting the new one back on uh to unscrew the barrel we uh reveal the converter once again not included but this is what the converter looks like as well as this sort of stabilization system that's sort of built onto the threads here and as you'll see let me take this converter out the converters have these two pins on the side of the converter and the two pins of the converter will slide into and lock into those slots on this um, on this lip here so if I put the converter in you know I can put it in like that and it'll still work but to keep it you know absolutely secure you just pop it right into those slots. Then you know that it's not gonna fall out of the pin, the, the converter is not gonna come out of the pin, it's not gonna rattle around inside the pin, uh, and you know that it's it's completely in and it's ready to write when it's locked in there. Um, so that's a really handy feature. I like that sort of bit of engineering in the pin. Um, it doesn't really rattle around like some other pins because um, it, it it's held in there tightly. So that's a good feature, I think. Now, in terms of what we're going to ink this thing with, it is around the holiday time, so I figured we should fill it with a red ink so I can have a green pen and a red ink, and uh, the ink for today is going to be uh, Monte Verde Mercury Noir, which is sort of a, a berry kind of red ink. So that's what we're going to fill it with. Um, I am going to fill it with... Uh, just because I've gotten used to filling it this way, I am going to fill it with a syringe. Um, however, I will mention, if you do dip this pin to fill it with the converter, uh, you might be able to see this lip right here. That is how the cap snaps on to the section here. That lip can get some ink right in that channel there. and can you know, So just make sure that you wipe that off good if you do dip this pin in to ink it. Make sure you wipe that off well so you don't have inky fingers there. So I am going to syringe fill this, which means I need my ink syringe. Here we are, just a little three milliliter syringe. I believe I got this one from Jet Pins. And we'll give this thing an ink. Let me get some paper towel handy. And you just pull in about, let me turn it around so you can see, about a milliliter of ink, if even that much. It's about there. And like I said, this is just how I've done it, just because it reduces a lot of mess. It uh, is a lot easier for me. And you get a full fill every time, because you're filling it with a syringe. I'll put the remaining ink back in the bottle, or as much as I can at least. There we go. And put the cap on the bottle before we have a disaster. There we go. 
And we're gonna slide the slots into the pin. Which I can see, there we go. Slide those slots into the pin. And I'm gonna give it a little bit, uh, I'm gonna prime the feet a little bit. So if you do fill it with the um, syringe, you do have to kind of prime the feet a little bit. So I'm just gonna give it some gentle turns. Try to get that ink flowing. Um, I don't see it yet. There we are. So there is some ink. I'm gonna take care of that quickly. So we do know the ink is in the pen. And that should be good for writing. I'm gonna be careful. And just suck that piston back. All right. We should have an inked safari now. We'll see about that. When we do our writing sample, so I just have some plain old 80 GSM Rhodia pad here, dot pad. And we'll see if we can get this thing writing. Let's see. Yeah, my, I figured it might need one more turn. So that is the downside if you are inking it with the um, syringe. As you do have to prime the feed. It's not going to be already wet from putting it in the bottle. You are going to have to prime it a little bit. We'll see if that works. There we are. And once again, I have more inky nib action, in case you're into that. Some people are, I try to wipe the ink off, but I don't care if it kind of bleeds a little bit. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna zoom in just a, just a hair so we can see a little bit better. And make sure we're writing good. All right, so for our writing test, we got the ink flowing pretty good. I'll go ahead and do our five boxing wizards. Oh, actually, we'll do the name of the pen. So we have the Lamy Safari. And this is a fine stainless steel nib. The ink, I'll do a quick little swab of the ink. It's Monte Verde uh, Mercury Noir. So there's a quick writing sample. The fine is definitely a fine, like a German fine, as you would expect. Very run of the mill there. We'll do our sentence, and I'll be quiet so maybe you can, you can hear. And make sure it's in focus. Five boxing wizards jump quickly. So how was the writing with this pen? Um, I have found it with this fine nib, I have found it to be smooth. Um, there is just a hair of feedback, but it's just audible feedback. It's still a very smooth pen. In terms of wetness, uh, it's, it's a pretty dry pen in my experience, but I guess you wouldn't know it from there. But it feels dry but there's a little wetness test just in case it feels dry but I, I don't think it's as dry as it feels but that's still on par with like a German um, 
kind of pin. For me, all the lamis feel a little bit dry, but I know that there's ink going down. Um, I will say I've had more success with this fine nib than on my All Star. I have an extra fine, and I do not like the extra fine at all. Uh, it's about the same uh, width, line width, as this fine nib is, but it's way more scratchy, and I haven't figured out how to get it to, to be a little bit smoother than this than it is. Um, I think we've covered everything there. So, uh, I haven't ever had a problem with this pen keeping up. It, it, it flows really, really smoothly. Um, in every direction, it's, it's pretty good. Um, downstrokes, left to right, right to left, upstrokes. So you can see it's solid all the way around. And I think this is a good Christmassy combo. So not much to complain about with the Lamis, other than I wouldn't recommend the extra fine nib really, but I have heard good things about their mediums and their broads and stuff like that, and I'm happy with this fine nib as well. Um, so there you have it. Um, on to the conclusion and who this is for. Um, I don't think it's for everybody just because of that molded grip. It, it sort of limits who it can be for. Uh, but if you are good with the grip, it's good as a first fountain pen. It's about $20 on Amazon or if you go through like a pen retailer, it's usually about $30 for a Lamy Safari. Although I wish it came with the converter for that price, but that's neither here nor there. It is a good everyday writer pen. So if you need a good everyday writing pen, this one could be that for you. And uh, it's a good nib and ink tester. Like I mentioned before, uh, the nibs are easily swappable. And so you can use it for nib testing, for ink testing, see how inks will work with different nib sizes and look like. And it's also good for the collector. So they have constant limited edition releases of the Safari. So it's great as a collector's item or as a, you know, for somebody that really likes the style and wants to get a bunch of different colors and have the limited editions and stuff like that. So uh, that's about all for this. So make sure to leave a comment if you have or had a uh, Safari and what you think about it, or if you don't like it that much, what you think is a better option. Um, also make sure if you like this video to like and subscribe. It's a free, quick, and easy way to help the channel and get pen related content and get notified of my weekly releases. Um, and when those come out and, uh, thanks for watching and I'll catch you soon.